Hey everybody, Tom Townsend with Townsend Realty Group and Keller Williams. Hey, make sure you subscribe so you are informed with everything real estate and life related. If you are confused about some of the terms like earnest money, deposits, some of those other money terms that we use as it relates to real estate, stay tuned because I'm going to answer them. Listen, lately I've had some uh, feedback from clients of mine that seem to be getting, and it's very understandable, you know, all these terms that we use in real estate, they get a little bit confusing. So I'm going to explain to you the difference between what a deposit is, earnest money check, what are closing costs, and when everything gets paid, and are you writing checks for all this, or how does, how does this all work, right? So here's, here's how the process works, and this is, is, this, is the, this is how the money works, right? So when you are look, going out and looking for a home and you put an offer on a house, typically you're gonna have to put a deposit down on that home very shortly after you write that contract, if not immediately. That is called a deposit. We also refer to it as earnest money. So the earnest money is equal to a deposit down on the house. Um, that money will be used towards the purchase of the home. It actually gets set aside in an escrow account and is just held there until you actually get to the closing. But that's a check that you're going to need to write almost immediately upon writing that offer. It's typically 1% of the purchase price of the home. So if you're buying a $300,000 home, it's typically $3,000 that you're going to have to write a check for. That's immediately. Um, right after you go binding with a contract, most of us will encourage you to hire a home inspector to inspect the home. That is an additional check that you're gonna to have to write to the home inspector to do their job. Typical $450 to $500, depending on the house, location, so on and so forth. But that's an additional check that you will have to write. Now, here's where the confusion gets into play, all right? Um, in addition to that, you will need to have some funds at closing, not until the closing of the home itself. And that's going to be your down payment on your loan. So let's say you're using a 20% down on the property, using the same math that we had before, a $300,000 house, you're going to need $60,000 to put down on the house. Now the earnest money or deposit that you wrote when you first wrote the contract can be part of that, okay? So that can be part of that um, $60,000, but that's an additional amount of funds that you're gonna need at closing. In addition, if you are bringing financing into it, there's a cost to financing, all right? Uh, those numbers change periodically. I would encourage you to reach out to your lender to find out exactly what those dollar amounts are going to be. Um, and they vary, but let's use for our example that it's $8,000 worth of closing costs for the financing. That's in addition to the $60,000 that you put down on the house itself, okay? So you've got some money that flows, but all of those, all that, that large chunk of money doesn't really occur until you go to the closing table. So initially, let's kind of recap. Initially, when you write an offer, you're going to need 1% of the purchase price of the home. You're going to also need very shortly after that, within a couple days, an additional $450 to $500 for the home inspector. Okay? So you're going to need that money almost immediately. Then at the closing table is when you're going to need the big bulk of money. All right? That's the 20% down. And if you're paying the closing costs, the additional closing costs that it is associated with bringing financing into the deal. So hopefully that helped out kind of explain what those terms are and actually when you're going to be needing the money throughout that whole timeline. Hope everybody's having a great day. Reach out to us if you have any questions or comments about it. Be more than happy to talk to you about it a little bit more. Hope everybody's having a good one. We'll talk to you soon.